Welcome to our Supply Chain Management Group presentation on IKEA. In this presentation, we have chosen to take a look at what role IKEA supply chain management plays in the success of the international furniture conglomerate. This presentation will further dive into the supply chain structure, what strategies and techniques are used for supply chain management activities, and how its supply chain management contributes to the success of the organization. In this group is Ivy Bai, Bianca Clark, Ale Lombraña, and Tommy Tan. IKEA Group is a global retailer of Scandinavian design furniture and accessories. According to the Market Line Company profile in 2013, the parent company of the IKEA Group of companies is Ignac. Holding BV, a private Dutch registering company, which in turn is owned by a Stitching Ignac Foundation. The Stitching Foundation was established in 1982 by Ignevar Kamprad, and the ownership of this foundation lies with the Kamprad family. The IKEA trademark and concept is owned by Inner IKEA Systems, another private Dutch company, but not part of the Inca holding group. The parent company of the Inter-IKEA Systems is Inter-IKEA Holding, which is registered in Luxembourg. IKEA has operations in 44 countries across Europe, North America, Asia, and Australia, and is headquartered in Netherlands. Currently, it employs an approximated 139,000 employees and sells 9,500 home furnishing products in over 298 retail stores worldwide. IKEA offers a range of furniture for living rooms, bedrooms, kitchens, and children's rooms. In addition to the furniture offerings, IKEA's retail stores also have customer restaurants that offer a choice of local dishes. Most retail stores include a food shop called Swedish Food Markets. The market sells Swedish delicacies such as meatballs, pickled herring, crisp bread, and lingonberry jam. The range includes nearly 90 products which are sold under the IKEA food brand. Many IKEA retail stores also have a play area for children ages 4 to 10. But just how does IKEA manage to stay privatized, sustainable, profitable, and quality driven all in one? Well, a well thought out supply chain structure is how. But let's face it, it's not easy running an international supply chain. The complexity of IKEA is really at the way it is spread across many countries. First off, it's products. Furnishings are designed to be functional, appealing to the eye, and most of all, cost effective to the consumer. Each time, a piece of furniture is furnished by IKEA of Sweden, hence the unique names you may notice on the box such as Billy or Sweden. In addition to the furnishings, the company keeps designs in-house. Designs are man manufactured by an estimated 1,200 suppliers in over 50 countries plus. IKEA also has 31 trading service offices in 26 countries, so production can be monitored New ideas can be tested, and prices can be negotiated to the quality and standard of IKEA. Furniture is also sourced through Swedenwood, an IKEA-owned manufacturer of wood-based furniture and components. Another part of the IKEA supply chain structure are its relationships. While a basic supply chain forms a series of relationships with companies that buy and sell supplies driven from price, IKEA has put in place a sustainable structure with long-lasting relationships with suppliers and distributors. Each company issues and processes purchase orders on demand. There is no integration of supply and quality standards and little collaboration. Although lead companies have access to suppliers, they may face problems caused by fluctuations in supply capacity, delivery, reliability, and or even quality. 
More specifically, these 1,200 suppliers in 55 different countries are able to sustain IKEA because of their outlasting relationship. Furniture and stores are supplied from 31 central distribution centers in 16 different countries or directly from suppliers. Sustainability. IKEA incorporates environmentally friendly efforts into day-to-day -day business and continually supports initiatives that benefit causes such as children and the environment. To cut transportation costs, IKEA uses flat packaging. Customers assemble their products at home to cut costs as well. IKEA's supply chain has a global spread with growing sales and purchasing in all major regions of the world. In addition to the sustainable measures in place, IKEA prides itself with being a privately owned company that reinvests in its philanthropic endeavors. One in particular has grown a wild success, targeting those affected by climate change what started as a mere 1 billion euro investment in 2009 has now increased to 400 billion dollar euro investment to help support communities most impacted by climate change. Also contributing to the success of IKEA supply chain structure is their online is their growing online presence. IKEA's online presence has further solidified their lead in the worldwide supply chain requests, allowing customers a chance to browse through full online and phone application brow uh, catalogs, as well as through social media campaigns. IKEA has facilitated a widespread geographic customer acceptance due to their strategic focus on providing home furnishings products at low prices. By ensuring that production equipment and raw materials are used efficiently, the company designs, manufactures, transports, sells, and assembles its own merchandise. The results have successfully minimized costs at every stage from development to the store floor. Of course, the customers also play a huge part. They choose, collect, transport, and put together the products themselves. Low prices have enabled IKEA to hold a strong market presence, giving them an, an advantage over bargaining power and higher customer recall. IKEA relies on a combination of innovative design, cost reduction initiatives, a global supply chain strategy, and close relationships with customers and suppliers. To compete with grocers and mass merchandisers who have expanded to capture a share of homeware market, IKEA offers unique services that its competitors does not. Its competitive edge is through a shopping experience facilitated with improved range, price, ambiance, layout, and facilities. According to surveys conducted by research firms, these factors were important to consumers when making shopping decisions. Improved price perception and shopping experience has driven vast loyal loyalty in a market where the customer is more fickle than ever. Most IKEA furniture is designed and sold in pieces for the customer to assemble. The pieces are placed into convenient and efficient flat packages for low cost transport because they can take up less room in trucks, further maximizing the number of products that can be shipped. This unique packaging also takes up less space in warehouse bins and reserve racks, allowing for more room to stock additional items for order fulfillment. What the company saves in fuel and stocking costs, it passes on to the customer. Every IKEA store has a warehouse on the premises of the main showroom floor. Customers can browse for items as easy as one, two, three. They then obtain the products themselves from the floor pallet location with racking a high typical person contact reach 
where furniture can be purchased and taken home. Additional products are stored in reserve racks above these locations. Sustainability. Pressured by global retailers to coexist with the environment, IKEA developed its first environmental policy catered towards sustainability in 1990. IKEA has been reducing its carbon footprint by using renewable energy with the installation of more than 250,000 solar panels in its retail stores building across the world and investing in 126 wind turbines in six countries. With respect to waste management, many of its retail stores offer customers the facility to return and sort waste for recycling. IKEA also encourages its suppliers to use biological water treatment systems by providing them with specialists and external consultants. In 2010, IKEA introduced the sustainability product scorecard, or the SPS. This was designed to track the sustainable aspects of a product's life cycle, indicating the type of amount of raw material used, manufacturing, distribution, product quality, product use and recycling potential of a product at the end of its lifetime. According to a case study produced by the Times of London, more than 50% of the products are made from sustainable or recycled products that IKEA uses. The role of supply chain management in IKEA supply chain. There are multiple roles of supply chain management in IKEA. First being that all stores have a warehouse on its premises as previously mentioned. IKEA is a high volume retailer with more than many suppliers in 50 countries and uses 42 trade offices around the world to manage supplier relationships. IKEA negotiates prices with suppliers, checks the quality of materials and keeps an eye on social and working condition. IKEA also values the cost per touch concept. The concept indicates that where there is more individuals touching the product before it reaches its customer destination, there is added cost. But IKEA also relies on something rare and unique. There's an in-store logistics manager responsible for the ordering process, a store processing and a store goods manager responsible for material handling logistics at all IKEA stores. There is a minimum and maximum process that is established in all IKEA stores by managers. This is a process where par levels are made with a minimum amount of stock needed to reorder and the maximum amount of stock that could be ordered. Successes. IKEA's continued successes can be attributed to their supply chain management processes. Some of those key concepts include Although IKEA fosters competition among suppliers to ensure they attain the best prices and materials, it believes in making long-term business relationships with them by signing long-term contracts, thus lowering prices of products further. This was seen in the video earlier. The unique packaging also takes up less space in warehouse bins and reserves racks for more use of their stock. IKEA also saves costs with guiding principle to minimize touches because it doesn't have to pay the customer to retrieve the furniture and take it home. Employment of logistic personnel that untimely ensure an efficient flow of goods within IKEA stores, which is essential to maintaining high sales and enhancing customer loyalty. These strategies have made IKEA the world's most successful furniture retailer with low operating costs and high product demand. This allows the company to stay competitive in the industry as it continually seeks more advanced methods to streamline supply chain management. In 2016, IKEA published their annual report for 2015, which tracked a number of their successes. Amongst the highlighted successes, including sales, with a steady 5.5 incremental growth in sales year over year, IKEA surpassed that growth from 2014 to 2015, making 2015 one of the most successful years year to date with 31.9 billion euros in sales. A 
among some of the other successes, has been an increase in female management at a whopping 48%. IKEA has become the workplace where 50% of leadership positions are held by women. Today, more than half of the co-workers are women and 48% of them are managers, 33% of being group management. IKEA's success certainly can be blamed on its complex but effective supply chain design. Behind the scenes is the supply chain management that runs the show and their efficiency means lower prices and customer satisfaction. They bring new ideas, they supervise, they control, they forecast, and are the ones responsible for making IKEA's vision a reality. To create a better everyday life, for the many people while providing a wide range of well-designed functional home furnishing products at low prices with customer and suppliers in focus. This concludes our presentation. Thank you.